What's going on, guys? It's Keith Frizzler with Think Stocks. Yesterday, which was August 18th, 2020, was a very special day for three reasons. The first reason is because the S&P 500 broke new all-time highs back from February. The second reason is because this is my three-year mark for investing in the stock market. And third is because I reached my newest milestone, or should I say my next milestone, which was hitting the $60,000 mark in my brokerage account. I had a video a couple of months ago when I hit $50,000 and that had some pretty good results in terms of you guys watching it. So I just wanted to give an update and I want to do an update all the way up to $100,000. My goal is to reach $100,000 as quickly as possible, so be as aggressive as possible and try to save and invest as much money that I possibly can. Because said by the famous Charlie Munger, the first $100,000 is the hardest $100,000. After that, it just snowballs. That's when you really get to see compound interest uh, take action. So I'm not just going to sit here and bore you with going over all my positions and how much they went up because you already know that. In the last video, I went over the 14 positions. I did not add any additional stocks to my portfolio, but I did add to my positions overall. And as you can see on my phone, we have, just, just to give a quick rundown, you can see all of the stocks on here. I'm not gonna list them all. Um, you could check that out in other videos but 13 out of the 14 are positive. The only one that's negative is uh, Intel, but other than that, you could see that six of them are over 100%. I, I think I've picked some really good stocks, and, and I only started with a couple thousand dollars. That's the key, right? But we're gonna jump on the computer, and I'm gonna show you how I'm tracking my portfolio and I'll break down more about exactly what I added to, what I reduced. Um, but I think this is going to be really cool that what I'm about to show on the computer. And I need to give a shout out to Andre Zik. He has a lot more followers than me. I think he's coming close to a million subscribers right now. But he has this really interesting dividend portfolio tracker. And I wanted to try to mimic that. To pull data, uh, and I don't know how much he's paying for that, but I was able to figure out how to go around that and not have to worry about an API key, which is really cool. So we're gonna review it, and then in another video, I'll actually break down exactly how I made that tracker so you could do the same thing for your stocks. All right, so here it is. We are in Google Sheets, and as you can see here, here's my portfolio tracker. All nice and compact, and I'm about to go over everything. So first, let's zoom in a little bit. That should be good. And what I wanna start is right here, my total returns, okay? So I've been investing for a total of three years now, and my total gain is 70%. So what that means is my stocks, I'm not talking about the money that I've put into my brokerage account, but my investments alone have appreciated 70% in three years. That is over 23% a year. It's possible with these big growth stocks, you just gotta hold on to them and they will, well, I can't say that, but they should go up. It, I have been very fortunate by getting in at the right time, picking some great companies, or I'm making 23%. The average is 10%. That's the standard. The standard in pours goes up about 11% a year. I'm reaching this 23% a year, so it is possible and it's all thanks to having a very concentrated portfolio. So another thing you might notice is my total market value is only $35,000, yet my brokerage account says 60,000. So where's that extra $25,000? That's sitting in cash. So as the market continued to ride up before the coronavirus, I, I was feeling a little worried investing because I thought, you know what, it's a little overvalued, it should crash, and eventually it did. And then that's when I really started to take on a more aggressive approach and put more money into the market every single week. So my 
cash reserve is slowly shrinking while I'm still adding money into it. I'm still feeding it. But I invest about five to six hundred dollars a week every single week. And my market value is growing and my cash reserve is shrinking. So that's why it only says thirty-five thousand dollars, but my brokerage account says sixty. I have twenty-five thousand dollars just sitting in cash right now. But I'm slowly investing it. And here we go. So here's here's the fun stuff. So let's start with looking at this right here. So this shows my shares, what I own, right? The 14 companies, how many shares I own, and my dollar cost average or my per my average purchase price of them. So as you can see, PayPal, my average purchase price was $86, and its current market value is $194 right now. It has gone up 124%. Shopify is just absolutely amazing. My average purchase price says $338. I actually just bought another share of Shopify yesterday. Before that, my average purchase price was 112 and it's sitting at over $1,000 right now. So that's a growth of 200%. You can see the rest, obviously, Intel. If you want to pause and look at them, you can, but Intel is uh, the only loser. That's because it did have some bad news. I'm not worried about that. I still think it's a great company and it is my strongest dividend stock. So it should go up. And speaking of dividends, we have dividend, dividend payout, and dividend income. So this is pretty cool. I know people love looking at dividends. So I was actually able to figure out how to do on um, Google Sheets, how to pull their dividends. So this is showing what the dividend that I will receive, the annual dividend that I will receive each year from these stocks, what their payout ratio is, which I think is very important, I don't like to invest in stocks that has a super high payout ratio. I want very, very low payout ratios because no, these stocks are still growing or no payout. You can see it's half and half. Half of them have no dividends, the other half do. And then my dividend income. So it's very small right now. It's only $100 for the year, but that's pretty much taking my payout right here, the 132, multiply it by how many shares. So for this 34, and then it shows my income, which is going to be $44 a year from Intel. Um, now, what's very cool about this chart is everything's dynamic and everything will update. So if I go to Intel and instead, if I type in, say, um, let's just change it to AMD, you'll see everything will change. So it's loading. All of this is going to change. So there it is. It changes the name. It changes the in, the dividends. Changes the growth. What the market value. Everything is dynamic in here. And this is the important stuff over here. People don't know how to pull this from Google Sheets, which in another video I will go over all of that. I gotta keep some secrets right now. So let's just change that back. And now here, here's the fun stuff that I like to see because we can look at numbers all day long, but nothing's better than charts. And if you know me, I love my charts. So let's scroll over and right here, this is my portfolio breakdown. Again, this updates as I change this. So you see PayPal is 24%. If I were to go here and let's pretend I only had four shares, it adjusts. There's PayPal only 2.8%. Right, but let's change that back to the 44 shares that I own. So this lets me know what what stock is overweight, which is obviously PayPal. That's almost a, a fourth of my entire portfolio, and which stocks I should really add to, because I like to try to keep a balanced portfolio, so it's not weighing too much on one uh, stock alone. However, that's what Warren Buffett does. He doesn't have many stocks, and Apple makes up about over 40% of his entire portfolio. So I'm not that concerned that f only four stocks makes up over 50% of my portfolio. I've gotten some great returns and we're going to jump over to the next part of my sheet. If I scroll down and this is the individual performance, individual position performance. So we could see here how each stock is doing compared to the other ones. PayPal up over hundred percent shop up over 200. Facebook over 50, Etsy is almost at 200. I just invested in Etsy and Square back in January of 2020 and they are just killing it. But I think this is very cool how I could see all of this 
And even better, if I go over to here, so let's say my growth, right? I could change this Z to A, and it'll show from biggest growth to smallest growth, and everything gets changed. So you can see down here now, I could see which ones have had the best growth all the way down to the worst growth. Now I'm not too concerned about um, Intel, Visa, Microsoft, uh, Intuit, SPGI, and Adobe. And that's because I just recently uh, bought shares of these companies. My first couple of shares of these companies were about four or five months ago. Uh, meanwhile, I have held on to Shopify, Apple, PayPal, NVIDIA, Netflix, and uh, Facebook for almost three years. I just got really lucky with Etsy and Square going up at this insane rate in less than a year. But as you can see, this is what I use to track all of my positions. It, it is definitely helpful. It keeps me on track. It lets me know exactly which positions are a little overweight in my portfolio and which positions are underweight. So if I go back to market value, go Z to A, we can see PayPal's a little overweight, Apple, and NVIDIA, Microsoft, SPGI is a little underweight. So I'll be adding to those just to kind of level it all out. But there you have it. That is my update hitting that $60,000 mark. The next update will be when I hit $70,000. And one last thing I wanna tell you, I, I've been adding money since that 50,000. So pretty much since the last update, I have put in an additional $5,000 of my own money and then my portfolio has grown an additional $5,000, which that's pretty incredible over the past couple of months, but we've seen a major bull run. What's gonna happen in the future? I don't know, we could see some pullback, the election's coming up, so that could cause some choppy water, but I'm just gonna continue to put money in, update you guys as I reach new milestones until I reach that $100,000 mark. Be sure to look out for one of my upcoming videos. I'll show you exactly how I make my uh, portfolio tracker with all of the different codes and everything. But other than that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit on that bell notification, uh, smash that like button because that really helps, and drop some comments. That helps my algorithm. I really appreciate it if you do that. And if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out and I will see you in the next one.